Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Lindsay Monroe. Well, good morning, everyone. Rain showers continue to move through the valley this morning. They're going to be lighter than what we experienced last night. Nonetheless, the National Weather Service has put a flood warning out. This will go into effect today, lasting through next Sunday. Reason being flood stage is supposed to rise as we head through the day and get even higher for Thursday above that flooding point. So if you do run into any roadways that are covered with rainwater. Just keep that in mind to uh, find an alternate route and don't drive through that rain standing on the road. So current conditions rain not out there at this point. We're just dealing with the cloudy sky and temperatures still rather mild at this point. We're 52 degrees with that cloud cover sticking with us and it does look like a majority of the rain has already pressed off to the east. What we're going to be dealing with for the first part of the day today are just some very light scattered rain showers that the clouds overhead could produce. Temperature wise, it is the warmest part of the day outside right now. We're in the lower 50s across all of our Indiana counties. 53 degrees right now in Robinson. It's 52 in Terre Haute, 50 in Paris. But as we head back to the west, we're already into the mid 40s from Mattoon down through Flora. 46 degrees. The cooler temperatures just to our west and they're going to move in, which is why we're really not tracking a warm up as we head through the day. Temperature tracker only takes us down from here again, starting off in the lower 50s back near 49 by 8 a.m. 47 at 10 46 at noon. We're going to level out in the mid 40s heading through this afternoon, so not going to warm up the warmest part of the day happening right now. Here's the cold air just back to our north and to our west Iowa. In the 20s, we're in the 30s across central Illinois. That colder air slowly going to work its way closer to the valley as we are on the backside of a cold front that moved through. Now, here's the rain showers that we were tracking for you as they moved through the, yeah, the evening last night. That cold front working its way through the state of Indiana. Back behind this, that cooler air will really start to filter in. The winds are going to shift, and you're overall going to notice how much cooler it is heading through the day today, certainly tonight when we get back into the 20s. So let's go Run through future cast here starting at 8 o'clock this morning. Most of that rain does exit to the east. Could see a few scattered rain showers mainly before 1 o'clock this afternoon. Other than that, we'll continue to see that cloudy sky and continue to see those temperatures falling. So starting off in the 40s, and then we're going to just drop back into the mid 40s this afternoon. Here's the 1 o'clock hour today near 46 degrees. The rain does come to an end. We're going to continue to see that sky staying cloudy and slowly watching the wind shift from the south to the west and eventually going to be out of the north within the next few days. So colder air going to be that main theme and the cloud cover not going anywhere tonight and even lasting through tomorrow. We're going to start Tuesday morning off in the upper 20s. Rain that is still out there on the roadways could freeze over. So keep that in mind. Slick spots for tomorrow morning. Only getting back into the lower 40s for your Tuesday afternoon. Average daytime high back into the lower 50s. So this number is going to be about 10 degrees lower than where we should be. And even tracking the chance for a light wintry mix, mainly across northern portions of the valley. I do believe Futurecast is overdoing it just a bit. Not going to put any rain showers or snow in the forecast for us as we head through Wednesday morning. But there could be a few light flurries here or there to start the day on Wednesday. Just keep that in mind as those temperatures start off in the mid 20s. As we head through Wednesday afternoon, though, you already see the clearing just back to our west. So we're going to get in on some sunshine finally bit by midweek, but at least for today and tomorrow, going to keep the cloud cover around with us. Also a chance for some light scattered rain showers earlier on. Temperatures falling from the 50s back into the mid 40s this afternoon. All the way back to 27 tonight, we'll keep the cloud cover with us today. And tomorrow highs near 41 degrees for our Tuesday going partly cloudy as we had through Wednesday and temperatures staying rather cool. The cooler air settles in, but also tracking a drier pattern. Next chance for rain returns by next weekend, but also some warmer temperatures back up into the upper 50s. So it's kind of like cooler temperatures with dry conditions or rain showers with warmer conditions. Can't really get a good combination of the two. You can't kind of pick. It's a little bit of a roller coaster, a mini one. Mm -hmm. That transition period from winter to spring, that's where we're in right now. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Lindsay.